Hello and welcome to another video. So my plan for this video is it to be the first of a series where I'm going to cover the movie export tool or rather than the tool itself I'm going to put together a series of exports at different resolutions. More on that in a second. So the movie export tool can be found within the animation pane and you'll only have this visible once you've added an animation to your map. I'm going to do further videos talking you through that later on. However, for now, I just wanted to talk about some of these options. So the current video that I've got is just a 20 second um, animation circling around the grandstands at Newbury Racecourse. I've done a previous um, animation that I've uploaded to the YouTube channel and I optimized that for YouTube. So that clicked on this option here. I also created a similar version. Both videos were one minute long and that one was at 1080p. The 1080p one was uh, 1.2 gigabytes and the YouTube one was 600 meg. So they're still considerable file sizes for a one minute video. So what I've got now is a shorter fly through again, 20 seconds long. Uh, this one you can see here and I'm going to export that a series of different resolutions and settings just so we can see which one is best and what are the quality differences for different uh, different videos. So some of the options here, again, we can click on any of these settings to get um, presets, basically predetermined settings down here, or we can go in and manually change some of these. So here we've got the media format. We can change the frame rate or the frames per second. Then we can change the resolution. So the one I've just done, and I'll show you in a second, is a 320p square all the way up to a 4K square, all the way up to a 1080p layer box. And there's a few other ratios down here. So the way I see this being most useful is if you um, were creating a video to display on a certain screen and you knew those um, screen or display parameters, then you could pick the best one. Or if you were gonna use um, the video to be displayed in a PowerPoint, for instance, perhaps you'd pick a different set of settings. However, you'd also be conscious of file size and how you're going to get that product to the customer or upload it to something like the internet if you have to. Uh, down here, you've also got this quality slider. So the, the higher up the quality, the larger the file size. So there's obviously a trade-off there. So I'm going to export uh, several videos at key different resolutions and different quality settings. I'll upload all of those, uh, all of that information and a screenshot of the settings I've used um, with the video as well. So you'll be able to see the different settings. I have uploaded one video, I've just created one, sorry, at 320p, so let's see what that looks like quickly. There we go. So that's 320p using um, the highest quality setting. And I think you'll agree the quality of that video is pretty poor, which is interesting. Maybe if we make it smaller, we can uh, get that better. How small do we have to make it? There we go, still not amazing. So that's 320p. I'll upload that to YouTube, as I've said, with the settings used, and then I'll upload a series of other videos all the way, hopefully up to 1080p, so you can really see which the difference is. Uh, is there any cliff edge and what settings are best to use? Okay, thanks for listening and stay tuned for more videos.